Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm finally going to be sharing my updated lip tint favorites video. There's a total of nine lip products. It was very hard to choose, but I could only narrow it down to nine. I'll be reviewing the products grouped by their brand name as well as the stain that it leaves. We have a lot of swatches to go through, so let's go ahead and get started. First off is Roman's Glasting Melting Balm in shade number 8, Coralia. This is a coral peach color. It does have a little bit more orange in it. This product has the least stain out of all the products I'm going to be reviewing today. This formula, however, is very buildable. It's one of my favorites. It gives you a very beautiful and glossy finish. This one and the next product has the most long-lasting gloss finish. So that's probably why it's in my top favorites. For this product, it does get a little bit stringy, so you just have to blot out excess product and you should be okay. I'm usually really picky when it comes to orange lip tints, but for this particular color, it matches so well with other lip colors as well. I like to mix and match a lot, so I like to apply this on top of other lip products to give more of a coral color. The most vibrant and bright color out of all these lip products. Usually, I don't prefer bright and vibrant colors, but for this particular color, it just matches and pairs really well with other lip colors. Next up is Roman's Lip Mate Pencil. This is in the shade number 5, Topi Shade. Their Lip Mate Pencil collection has a very beautiful shade. For this one particular number 5, it's actually a shading or contouring lip pencil. So it helps to contour under your lips as well as the side of your lips just to give a little bit more shadow, dimension, and also on, your, on top of your cupid's bow. I've been really obsessed with this. It's sort of a must-have for my lip routine. It's sort of this ashy gray brown color and it looks very natural, very buildable as well, very creamy. It also has a blending brush at the other side which works really well to blend. It creates a beautiful blurring effect. If you want something that's more defined, this is probably the product. It has more of a blending and blurring function but it's very very beautiful. Next up we have Roman's Glassing Water Glass. This is in the shade Zero Meteor Track. At first I was very hesitant about using this product. So it has this holographics glitter in it but the more that i used it it looks amazing for the gloss finish it also adds a more glossy effect because of how the light reflects on the glitter i find that some clear glosses can change the color of your lip color but for this particular product it doesn't change it it also works with matte lip tints as well so i like to add this on top of lip products to give that extra boost of gloss next up we have roman's blur fudge tint this is in the shade 14 on rose which recently came out it's this beautiful pink rose color like a mauvey bright pink it gives a really nice pop of color and also very buildable as well so you can make it very pigmented i like to use this for a little bit of color but also still make it look natural at the same time. It takes about 10 minutes to fully dry to be mask proof. Mm -hmm. However, I didn't wait 10 minutes for the transfer test, but you can still see that it is quite still pigmented. Next up, we have Ink Mood Glowy Tint in shade number 12, Warm Rhythm. So I have this classic pink color, very soft pink. This is also really good to pair. I mentioned it before, but I like to pair this lip tint um, with other lip products especially if it's a matte one just to give a glossy finish it gives a very beautiful blurred effect especially on your cupid's bow just makes your lips look very plump and it's very moisturizing as well for the formula very good to blend as well and also it's quite limited the more layers that you apply it looks like shea butter next up we have pear Pear's ink velvet in the shade 40 calm rosy you'll see that it looks quite similar to some of these swatches later but you sort of have this very muted pink brown color. It does have a little bit of a purple undertone, um, which probably stands out from the rest of the lip products I'm going to review today. It's the most muted out of all these products. It's very buildable as well. I think it's very pretty as the green took, but also the full look. So it's very versatile. Again, for the formula, very creamy, very pigmented, has amazing stain. If you're not into bright colors for spring and you prefer more muted colors, I would recommend this one. Next up, we have Estee House's Fixing Tint. This recently came out. It is 16 Baked Pecan. I have been obsessed with this, wearing it nonstop. It has the same formula as previous shades, very creamy, applies on very lightweight, um, mask proof, smells like shea butter very buildable and blendable as well compared to the previous shade baked pecan is more of a brown and pink color both are muted but baked pecan has more brown it's actually quite similar to a few shades from pera pera we have the ink velvet 26 in the middle and then the ink airy 29 at the top they're quite similar to each other but personally for me i like the fixing tint formula the best for this shade it glides more smooth and because it's a fixing tint it stays put where you apply it also very long lasting as well so it gives such a beautiful and seamless finish very good to use as a base but also as a full look as well and i really like to apply this in the inner corner of my lips i actually have it on my lips right now for my intro and outro really easy to build up the color and to use with other lip products not that these are not good 
but because the Etta House Fixing Tint does dry matte, it pairs very well with other lip products if you like to create that gradient look. Next, we have another Etta House product. This is the Glow Fixing Tint in the shade Mellow Pink. Again, another pink color. This is a pink purple color. A very classic cool pink color. Sort of like your Barbie pink color. It has a little bit of a purple undertone. It has this gel-like formula. And then once you apply it on your lips, you have to wait for it to settle a bit before you can see the actual glossy finish but once it does settle it gives such a beautiful glossy glistening type of finish number two mellow pink is a cool toned color as warm rhythm has more warm tones in it that's the biggest difference between those two last but not least we have cleo's dewy blur tint this is in the shade number seven nude breeze i really like the formula of this this was released a while ago but i used up the previous shades. This is a lip product that I use if I'm running errands and I don't want to put too much effort into my lip but I still want to look put together. You can use this as a blush as well. This also has a really good stain so I don't really have to retouch a lot especially if I'm busy. It gives a very beautiful my lips but better type of look to it. It does have a sweet scent so if you are sensitive to smell I'll keep that in mind. So that was my review of my current and updated favorites there's so much more and i'm pretty sure it's going to change in the next few weeks but these are the products i usually find myself grabbing and using for this season so that's all for today's video i hope that you found it helpful definitely let me know what your favorite lip tints are as well um, in the comments down below that's all for today's video thanks so much for watching as always and i will see you in the next video